Hello everybody, welcome to Fit for the Master's Use, episode 6. Let's get started with some priceless tidbits. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now we don't know why Humpty was on that wall, but we know that this time they couldn't put him back together again. We've had to deal with a lot of challenges during this time of COVID-19. Many people have found themselves faced with losing their homes, life savings, jobs, family members and friends, etc. Some of you may be wondering how or if your broken life, your broken situation is going to get put back together. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you are broken or damaged from any kind of physical, mental, or spiritual fall, Jesus can fix your broken pieces. Nothing is too hard for him. He specializes in restoration. Maybe you're broken from falling off the healthy living wall. At one time, you were drinking your water, getting enough sleep, exercising, limiting your sweets and processed foods. You were mindful of how you were treating your body. Maybe you've picked back up some habits that you had previously dropped, like smoking or cursing. Maybe your body is physically broken down. Well, it's not too late. God cares about your body and how you treat it, and he's able to put everything back together again. At some point in my school years, I developed an inferiority complex. I let the devil drill it into my mind for years and years and years how inferior I was. This went on until one day I was in my college dorm room and God spoke to me and told me that he was going to teach me to love myself. I looked in the mirror and I declared, and that you are somebody, you are not inferior to anybody. All right, so that's what I did, and from that day forward, the journey began. Now, it did not happen overnight. It was a process because for years, I had spoken and declared so many negative things over my life. But from that day forward, I started trying to retrain my brain and just speak positive uh, declarations into my life. And I thank God, you know, I was broken. But he put me back together again, again in that area. Maybe you're broken spiritually. You're not walking with God like you used to. You're not praying and seeking him like you once did. God can still mend your broken pieces. I want to share with you from the second chapter of Joel. The prophet Joel wrote to the people of Judah during a difficult time in their history. They had endured the loss of crops and livestock as well as the death of friends and loved ones because of a plague of locusts. The Lord sent Joel to speak of his desire to restore them what they had lost. Joel 2 verse 25 reads, And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterp caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. The years that the locusts have eaten represent negative experiences in the past, especially seasons of loss or lack. Minister Charles Spurgeon writes, When those locusts did their work, it looked complete and final. But God promised that he could even restore the years that the swarming locusts had eaten. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. But hallelujah, I serve a God, hallelujah, that specializes in doing just that. Years ago, I attended an event and B.B. and C.C. Winans was there. They sang this little song called Humpty Dumpty. That song has stayed with me for years and I hope it encourages you. Like some 
problem. A little girl came home from school and said to her mother, I wish you would let me take my bath in the morning before I go to school instead of at night before I go to bed. What difference does it make? Her mother asked. Every day at school, the little girl said, Miss Taylor tells everybody to stand up who had a bath today. And I haven't been able to stand up one time since school started three months ago. <laughs> Poor thing. The church council met to discuss the pastor's compensation package for the coming year. After the meeting, the chair of council told the pastor, we're very sorry, pastor, but we decided that we cannot give you a raise next year. But you must give me a raise, said the pastor. I am but a poor preacher. I know, the council chair said. We hear you every Sunday. Well, anyway, I hope you were able to smile. Moving right along, tidbit three, aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is a holistic healing treatment that uses natural plant extracts to promote health and well-being. Sometimes it's called essential oil therapy. The term aromatherapy was coined by a French perfumer and chemist who had discovered the healing potential of lavender in treating burns. You can find essential oils in places like Walgreens, Walmart, and online. These oils aren't regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. This means that essential oil products can vary in purity, strength, and quality across manufacturers. Be sure to only purchase essential oils from reputable brands. Look for a product that is 100% natural and doesn't contain any additives or synthetic ingredients. Some popular essential oils include lavender, lemon, peppermint, spearmint, eucalyptus, lemongrass, tea tree, and rosemary. Each essential oil has, a, has multiple healing properties, uses, and effects. You can use these alone or in any combination. It is said that essential oils help to manage pain, improve quality of sleep, help relieve symptoms of depression, reduce stress, agitation, and anxiety, improve digestion, fight bacteria, and boost immunity. And that's just some of the benefits. One study found that peppermint oil led to a boost in exercise performance. Another study shows sniffing rosemary can increase memory by 75%. You find um, diluted and undiluted oils. Read the label. If you buy undiluted oils, be sure always to dilute them in a massage or carrier oil like sweet almond oil, olive oil, or jojoba oil. Some of the oils could irritate your skin if you apply them to your skin directly without diluting them first. There are some ready-to-use aromatherapy oils that have already been diluted. I found some good ones at the Dollar Tree. I love shopping at the Dollar Tree because you never know what jewels you're going to find. But anyway, these are what I found at the Dollar Tree. And I researched them and you will have to pay much more for them if you buy them online. But these are, you, you can rub these on. You don't have to worry about diluting them. And they have on the back what they're good for. Good by at the Dollar Tree. These are not diluted, so I put them in my diffuser. I put them in my potpourri um, thing right here. So multiple uses, you know, that you could do with these. And I'm not getting paid for promoting any products, okay? I'm just sharing what works for me. All right, so on average, essential oils are up to 75 times more powerful than dried herbs, so a couple of drops go a long way. The fragrance doesn't stay on your skin like regular perfume does, so don't worry if you use peppermint or lemon oil, it, you won't go around smelling like peppermint or lemon oil all day. Aromatherapy works through the sense of smell and skin absorption using products like diffusers, aromatic spritzers, inhalers, roll-ons as I've showed you, bathing salts, body oils, creams, lotions, etc, etc. Like most alternative therapies, 
Aromatherapy should not be used as a replacement for your doctor's prescribed treatment plan. Don't stop taking medicines, attending counseling sessions, or using other prescribed therapies without talking to your doctor first. In conclusion, essential oils may lift your mood and make you feel good with just a whiff of their fragrance. Conduct your research to find more information on how to incorporate aromatherapy into a healthy lifestyle. Have you tried aromatherapy? And if you did, how did it work for you? And what is your favorite oil? Well, I hope you all enjoyed these priceless tidbits. Thanks so much for listening. And if you know Jesus Christ, now's the time to get to know him even better. He's full of surprises. If you do not know him, accepting him as your savior will be the best decision you will ever make. Have a blessed day.